this Sunday. Joining us now is Fox News contributor Archie, Ari Fleischer, former press secretary for President George W. Bush. Ari, good morning to you. I know you've got some strong thoughts on this and what we heard from the president. I sure do. And, you know, I have thought about this so much because I represented George Bush, who, who speaks entirely differently. But the biggest criticism I get from Republicans all the time is if you looked at how gracious President Bush was, if you looked at McCain, if you looked at Romney, none of them knew how to fight against the Democrats, and the Democrats always took advantage. And so thank goodness Donald Trump is a fighter. And you know what, Sandra? There's a lot of merit to that. I mean, there are some things I wish Donald Trump would do differently, and I'll get specific. But there is a lot of merit to the fact that because he's a fighter, he's been very successful. And he's right. It's really interesting uh, to dig into this piece written by Mark Thiessen, uh, published in the Washington Post, uh, in which that piece is titled, Our Descent into Vitriol Began Long Before Trump, and Democrats Are Culpable Too. In his piece, he goes on to cite um, moments in very recent history uh, where Democrats um, have set a similar tone. And I know that you tweeted back at Mark Thiessen. What, what were your thoughts to him? Well, what he was doing was walking people through a whole history of attacks Democrats have made against Republicans, which Republicans graciously brushed off, and saying that Democrats are hypocrites. They don't have the high ground to criticize President Trump when they do it themselves. Yes, President Trump sometimes does deserve blame, and I've said it on Fox News, I'll say it everywhere, and I tweet it too. He shouldn't have said in Montana about body slamming a reporter. You just don't talk like that. It's physical violence. No one should encourage it or talk about it. He shouldn't have... He should not call reporters enemy of the people. Uh, that's, I don't like that language. Tone it down two notches. That's all he has to do. He can still fight. And here's why fighting is so important. It doesn't matter who the Republican is. The Democrats will always call them a racist. They called George W. Bush a racist and ran ads against Bush alleging he was a racist. They called McCain a racist. They called Mitt Romney a racist. Remember Joe Biden? He said Republicans want to put you all back in, in chains. It doesn't matter. The Democrats throw it against everybody when it has nothing to do with the truth. So there's a lot about Trump fighting back. I welcome. And especially because the media is totally biased. He's right. Here's a short part of uh, Thiessen's piece in The Washington Post. Trump is wrong to call the media the enemy of the people, as you just stated, Ari, right. and to celebrate a congressman body slamming a reporter and the host of other terrible things that he has said. But Democrats were dragging us into the political gutter long before Trump came along. If they think Americans elected a Frankenstein's monster, they are Dr. Frankenstein. I'll give you final, final word on that, Ari. Yeah, the Democrats have to look in the mirror. The words that they use, calling, calling for the resistance, boycotting his inaugural, the activities they immediately undertook without even giving him a chance. And, you know, the word resistance, those were the French freedom fighters against the Nazis, against the collaborators in France. Are they implying Donald Trump is a Nazi, is Hitler? What about their words? What about their stirring the pot? They need to look in the mirror before they just attack Donald Trump. Good to hear your words this morning, Ari Fleischer. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. 20 past the hour now. A key